Welcome back. Today we're dropping a deep dive teardown in our blockchain series, a forensic face-off between two heavyweight layer ones, Solana and the Internet Computer, ICP. This isn't fluff or a surface level which is faster rant. We're peeling back the tech, the failure modes, the economics, and the real world numbers so you can avoid costly mistakes and maybe spot an asymmetric opportunity most people are asleep on. Do not skip any part of this. There are gems and landmines in every segment. Let's go. This video is for informational and educational purposes only. It is not financial advice. Always do your own research and consult a professional before making any investment decisions. Solana rode the last bull run like a rocket. Ultra fast, low fees, spotlight everywhere. But underneath the hype is a repeated pattern of catastrophic instability. We've seen numerous full network outages, total stoppages where the chain halts and transactions freeze. In early 2022, bot-driven duplicate transactions congested the network and brought it to its knees. There have been consensus failures, validator software bugs, and other failure modes that repeatedly forced reboots, rollbacks, or emergency fixes. Picture this as driving a sports car that randomly stalls on the freeway. The top speed means nothing if the engine can cut out while you're doing 150 kph. For traders, builders, and users, outages mean frozen funds, failed trades, missed opportunities, real economic pain. Uptime stretches and reliable finality matter far more than flashy throughput when money and users are on the line. Solana's throttle is impressive, until it isn't. The internet computer didn't have a gentle landing. Price action has been brutal, and token performance scared many away. But price tells us little about technical design. Look past the market chart and focus on the architecture. ICP is not merely another blockchain. It was conceived as a decentralized world computer, a platform built to host websites, apps, and entire enterprise systems fully on-chain. It attempts to eliminate the need for centralized cloud stacks, the AWS, Azure, Google Cloud Platform paradigm, by letting code, storage, and compute live natively inside the network. That means dApps that are end-to-end -end on a decentralized substrate, no separate hosting, no third-party cloud. That's the Web3 promise many projects still talk about but don't deliver. Two standout primitives matter here. First, chain key cryptography, a mechanism enabling ICP to securely interoperate with other chains and external systems without the usual brittle bridge constructs. Second, the reverse gas prepaid model that allows developers to cover transaction costs for end users. Users can interact with applications without juggling tokens or wallets, dramatically lowering onboarding friction. Those two ideas together point to a consumer experience that could actually scale to mainstream users. Numbers don't care about hype. Let's compare the hard metrics that drive real utility, throughput, finality, storage economics, and decentralization measures. Throughput, TPS. Raw peak TPS is one thing, but sustained realistic TPS matters most. The internet computer has demonstrated extremely high TPS in real conditions, and in many benchmarks, its real-world throughput stacks up incredibly well often matching or outpacing Solana in measured scenarios. Meanwhile, Solana's raw speed can choke under stress when validators or software hit edge conditions. Finality. How long do you wait until a transaction is irreversible? ICP targets near instant finality. Solana typically takes longer, seconds that matter in high frequency markets and payment flows. In fast financial rails, even a handful of extra seconds adds risk and friction. On-chain storage cost. This is where the tables turn dramatically. Solana's model makes on-chain persistent storage extremely expensive. Building storage-heavy apps or keeping large data blobs on-chain is effectively infeasible at scale. ICP by design gives orders of magnitude cheaper on-chain storage. You can host far more data on ICP at a fraction of Solana's cost. If you are building apps that need real storage and compute on the chain, think social platforms, content, and enterprise systems, Storage economics decide viability. Decentralization, Nakamoto coefficient. Centralization risk is often overlooked when dazzled by TPS numbers. Solana's validator distribution and the concentration of influence create attack and collusion vectors. In practice, a relatively small set of entities could undermine liveness or consensus. ICP's governance and node economics were built with different assumptions aimed at stronger decentralization. 
The exact numbers vary by snapshot and time, but the architecture and governance choices matter for long-term resiliency. Now for the uncomfortable comparison that gets people riled up, market valuations. One chain is widely hyped, heavily covered by media, and sitting at a stratospheric market cap, largely driven by retail attention and speculative flows. The other, a project that solves core infrastructure problems, cheap storage, on-chain compute, developer UX improvements, and interoperability primitives, trades for a tiny fraction of that market cap. If you line up comparative capabilities, storage cost, developer experience, composability with external systems, and genuine on-chain web hosting, the discrepancy looks glaring. That's not investment advice, it's arithmetic. A technologically differentiated platform priced as if it were a niche experiment, while a more hyped network captures most of speculative value. Markets can stay irrational for a long time, but inefficiencies like these are where asymmetric returns are born. Imagine ICP reaching parity with the market cap of a hyped competitor. That's multiple fold upside on paper. Whether it happens depends on adoption, developer momentum, and narrative shifts. But the point is clear. Technology, economics, and adoption signals should drive valuation. And right now, the numbers argue that one side is chronically mispriced. Information is useless unless it's actionable. Here's a practical checklist for how to convert this research into smart steps, not FOMO trades. One, do the primary reading. Don't only listen to influencers. Read the ICP technical white papers and architecture docs. Explore chain analytics dashboards and benchmark reports. Look at Solana postmortems and outage analyses. Primary sources reduce narrative bias. Two, measure real usage. Check on-chain metrics. Deployed dApps, storage utilization, transaction distribution, and active developer repositories. Raw headlines lie. Active developer activity and real dApp usage tell the truth. 3. Test the UX. Try interacting with example dApps on both networks. Note onboarding friction, wallet requirements, and how errors are handled when things break. Developer and user experience will ultimately determine mainstream adoption. 4. Assess economics. Calculate realistic build costs, storage per GB, cost to run a data-heavy app, and long-term persistence expenses on each chain. If your application needs persistent data, those costs make or break product decisions. 5. Size your exposure. If you believe there's an asymmetry, size positions so that you're protected against systemic risk, bugs, regulatory events, or sudden market repricing. Use position sizing, not optimism, as your safety net. 6. Watch for adoption catalysts, browser integrations, large enterprise deployments, or new tooling that dramatically lowers developer friction can flip narrative quickly. Those are the events that take tech from underpriced to priced. All right, here's the TLDR in plain terms. Solana bought speed and attention, but recurring outages and economic limits on storage weaken its case for being the foundation of a web-scale, data-heavy future. The internet computer stumbled in the market, but its architecture, cheap on-chain storage, on-chain compute, chain key interoperability, and user-friendly transaction models directly target the problems that must be solved for Web3 to reach billions of users. Numbers, not noise, should guide you. Throughput under load, finality, storage economics, and decentralization metrics matter far more than press cycles. If you're a builder, researcher, or an investor thinking long-term, dig into the primary docs, test the dev experience yourself, and size bets responsibly. There's asymmetric opportunity here, but only if you put in the work and separate signal from hype. So, what do you think about ICP's current position? Are you bullish on its growth in AI and DeFi? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you found value in this deep dive, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more breakdowns like this. Thanks for watching. Stay curious, stay cautious, and I'll catch you in the next one.